often cream pie is really not a pie, it's really a cake. In the mid-19th century, people didn't have cake pans like we have now. They had a lot of pie pans, though, because they made a lot of pie-like di dishes. Then in around 1856, in the Parker House in Boston, they invented the Boston cream pie. They actually called it the Parker House chocolate cream pie. And then in December of 1996, the Boston cream pie was named the official dessert of the state of Massachusetts, beating out the Toll House cookie and Indian pudding. So in order to start our Boston cream pie, we're going to make the cream filling first because it needs to be refrigerated for a couple of hours. So in a saucepan, I'm going to put one third cup of sugar and three tablespoons of cornstarch. The cornstarch has a tendency to stick. It's just the nature of cornstarch. Give that a little whisk around to blend them. Now, I also have one cup of room temperature milk that I put a teaspoon of vanilla extract in. I have three egg yolks, two tablespoons of butter finely chopped, and I have one more third of a cup of milk because we're going to make an emulsion first and then add the other ingredients, the other milk. So in go the yolks. and the third of a cup of milk. And I'm going to put my burner on here. And we're going to mix this up to blend. And once this starts getting warm, then I will add the warm milk. And that's nice and smooth. So I'm going to add the one cup of room temperature milk with the vanilla. And now what we want to do is we want to keep whisking over a medium-high heat and bring this to a boil. Our mixture has come to a boil. I'm going to keep stirring and cooking for about one minute more. This is really where you really want to whip it well because you don't want any clumps to form. just like a good vanilla pudding. Okay. Take this off. And now we're going to stir in our two tablespoons of butter. The butter also is at room temperature. The only reason I cut it up into cubes is that it will melt faster. And have handy a bowl with a strainer because you still want to strain this sauce even though you whisked it very well just in case because you want your cream to be really really smooth and there we go now I'm going to put it through the strainer After I've strained it all, I'm going to cover it tightly with plastic wrap and then refrigerate it for a minimum of one hour, possibly two. You can actually do this part the day before and keep it in the refrigerator overnight, then bake the cake the next day. Look at that. I have no lumps in my cream. It means I did a good job when I whisked it, but still I don't want to take any chances. Okay, now get some plastic wrap and just like a good pudding you want to put the plastic wrap right down on the surface because if you don't put it right down on the surface you're going to get a skin. Okay, it's right down there and then for insurance purposes one more on top. We're going to put this in the refrigerator for at least an hour, possibly two, while we make our cake. We've made the cream and it's in the refrigerator. Now it's time to make the cake. I'm going to start off with one stick of room temperature butter and put that into my mixer bowl and get this started. 
to that, I'm going to slowly add one cup of regular white sugar. All right, the butter and the sugar are blended. I'm gonna add two whole eggs, one at a time. Let each one get well incorporated. I lift up my mixer bowl a little bit because the paddle doesn't always get all the way down to the bottom and then you have like a film of butter left down there. This really works well by doing this. Okay, now in my bowl here, I have two cups of cake flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then I have three quarters of a cup of room temperature milk with one teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna add half the flour, and then the milk, and then the rest of the flour. Okay. Start it off on slow so we don't have another dust cloud. And then slowly add the milk. of my flour. I'm going to give this a good scrape just to make sure everything's getting incorporated. That's the rest of the flour. Get rid of all the dirty dishes. And by the way, my oven is heating to 350 degrees. Now while that's mixing, let's talk about the pans. Normally, when you make a Boston cream pie, you would make the cake part of it in a regular eight or nine inch cake tin like this. I want to try something new today. We're going to try making them in some little spring form pans, just because I happen to have them. And I'm also going to try making them in these individual cups so that we have individual little Boston cream pies. These have the little bottoms so the cakes pop up but we're still going to grease them. So here are my two spring forms. I'm gonna get some spray. And I'm gonna spray the pans. And I'm gonna add parchment paper just for a little insurance. And I'm gonna spray those too. I'm gonna do the same thing with these. Now, let's check our batter here. I want to scrape down the sides just a little because I see a little flour. Just give that an, a little extra ride. Fill our pans. And I think I'll fill these first. I'm using my ice cream scoop just like I would if I were making um, cupcakes. And I'm not going to fill these all the way up because I don't want a really tall Boston cream pie. Just one scoop each. And you'll notice I've put all my pans 
on a sheet covered with um, aluminum foil. That's so I don't have a terrible cleanup later on in case. You just never, never know. Now these, normally if you use the regular size cake pan, you would probably bake them in a 350 degree oven for approximately 25 to 30 minutes. These are a little bit smaller, so I will start checking these at 20 minutes. A little bit more in that one, got a little. Okay, and now I'm gonna smooth them out a little. And I'm gonna take them to the oven and start checking at 20 minutes. Here are our small cakes out of the oven. Uh, these have been out for about 10 minutes and cooling. These just came up, so they're really hot. So I'm going to pop one of these up. You can see how easily it comes out. Pull the little top, bottom off, and there you have a pretty little cake, which we will trim and decorate later on. So I will continue to take these out. We'll let them cool, and when all the cakes are cool, we'll come back and we'll have the fun part of putting them all together. It's time to start putting our Boston cream pie together. We're going to make the chocolate glaze that goes on top and then we'll put the cakes together. I have a quarter cup of heavy cream. I'm gonna put it in a saucepan along with one teaspoon of instant coffee. Um, it's thought that coffee flavoring brings out the flavor of chocolate more than without it. So we're going to Put that in our mixture, and we need to bring this to a boil. Our cream is boiling. Take it off the heat, and to it we're going to add four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate bits or chopped up chocolate if you happen to have it. And you just leave it there for a minute or so until the chocolate starts to melt. You really want to make sure the chocolate is all melted before you go any further. We're also going to add some confectioner's sugar and some corn syrup. You've got to make sure it's smooth before you go any further. By the way, I forgot to tell you, the smaller of the cakes baked for 24 minutes exactly, and the larger one baked for 26 minutes. Not much difference, but something to know. Now, one tablespoon of light corn syrup. This is gonna make the chocolate not only add some sweetness to it, but it's also gonna add some shine to it. And it's gonna let it set. And there we go, with a quarter of a cup of confectioner's sugar. And that, once it's blended, will be our glaze. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Move our chocolate off to the side. We're done with that for now. Now let's work on our cakes. I'm gonna only do two for you, a smaller one and a larger one. And you notice there's a dome on them. I'm not sure I want that dome, but I'm gonna slit the cake in half. And I'm gonna take off that dome. And that'll be a little treat for me for later. Not that I need one because we're gonna have these things done. almost forgot the plastic, the parchment paper that I lined the pans with. Take a little bit of this dome off. Okay, and now we get ourselves a plate, a stand, 
And now the cream that we made earlier, the pastry cream, this wonderful, wonderful pastry cream. And we're going to take a little bit of it. Put it right there. I love this stuff. Put it right on. And that will be one. Not done yet. Got to get that chocolate on there. Be a little bit generous on that one. Put that on the cake stand. Now we go back to our chocolate. Spread this on. This chocolate will set hard in about half an hour. A little bit more on there. Yum. And just as a garnish, a little cherry on each one. And there you go. But this one is a nice individual serving, and this is a serving for two. Those are our miniature Boston cream pies.